don't know why I'm looking at my watch. I can't read that anyhow. Uh, it's May 5th. And seventy degrees. It's supposed to get up like ninety-five this week. Getting down to the wire. So yesterday. just would not come. And then after a while, I just shut up. I said in the video yesterday that I needed a canoe. Well, it's dark. You can't see in the bed of the truck. There's no canoe. But, what I do have in the bed of my truck my duck waiters. I have duck hunted twice in the past five years, ever since I lost my buddy. Don't care to duck hunt, but I didn't throw my waiters away. This will be the second time this year I've worn duck waders turkey hunting. First time I didn't record it. Um, our youth opener. We had a pre-youth opener, if you want to say. Um, somehow or another, the NWTF got the federal government to open up the Savannah National Wildlife Refuge up a week earlier than rest of the state, and we took, I don't know, 12, 12 or 14 kids hunting that weekend. The problem was, it was all underwater. We'd had so much rain, and here we are at sea level that, you know, it sprinkles and it floods. Well, it, it had been raining for weeks, and uh, so yeah, I duck hunted in, or turkey hunted in my duck waders. So, I my plan this morning is, I don't know if I'm going to be able to carry the camera or not, I'm going to carry it down there with me, but i got to test the waters first. I don't know how deep this thing is. I'm hoping I don't get eaten by an alligator. And if you see the video, if I post it from yesterday, I don't know what that was down the creek from me. But... It was either a skunk ape or a chupacabra or, or I don't know, but that made an awful wail that I ain't never heard before and I'm 60 years old. I have to pack extra firepower with me today.
room, baby. Seventy degrees at five o'clock, and um, I put my waders on at the truck, which is about two hundred yards that way. Now you can see the creek behind me, maybe on the Friday. Right it comes this way and goes around, and then back down that way. Yesterday, I had probably this bird over that. Way. I said, you know what? I need a canoe. And I thought that. I don't need a canoe. I got waders. So I had every intention of coming, <laughs> coming down, crossing that creek in my waders, getting on that side where they're at. Now, normally they root right there. Well, I got turned around. number went that way and uh, I couldn't find a decent spot to cross I found one I tried it sunk up to my knee on the first step in the mud and I said man I ain't doing that let me find somewhere else and then I figured out you know I need to be up here well thank you Lord for sending me the wrong way because if I'd have gone the way I wanted to I'd have bumped this bird and there's a lesson there always do what God wants you to do. You try and do what you want, it doesn't work. So uh, as I'm walking down this way with every intention of getting right here and crossing, uh, I think it's right over there. I was 200 yards from here. No, I wasn't even that. 150. Yeah, about 200. Anyhow. I gotta remember I'm old and I've got like 40% hearing loss in my left ear. And uh, I stood there for a minute. Boom, man, he, I mean, yeah, he was a gobble. He wasn't that far, maybe 120 yards. So I grabbed the first tree. I, I was standing at a decent tree. And took my waders off, put these on. He gobbles five, six times. set up. I gave, I got a two-sided call. Um, easy enough to get to. This thing has killed a ton of birds. But it's glass over slate. And you got the glass here and then the slate here. Well, I started on the slate side because it's a real quiet call. I made a few clucks. Boom. He answered. He cobbles again, some more clucks. He doesn't answer right away. Gave another cluck, 
I didn't know that. He fired it off, and then I flipped it over in the glass, waited on him. As soon as he gobbled, I yelped real hard on that glass. He gobbled again, I yelped real hard on the glass, and I flipped it over and did two clucks and a couple of yelps on this side. Man, he triple gobbled, and I said, well, he knows where I'm at, so put the call down. Hearing fly down again, that's not hard to believe. And uh, I seen him making his way right to me. So, yeah, he was roosting on this side. And if I had done what I wanted to do, I'd have blown this hunt. 6.35. Now, I don't know if it was, I had the camera pointed that way and I thought I zoomed in. It turns out I zoomed out. But I, I couldn't move a whole lot. And uh, anyhow. my 20s. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. That was a great morning. And uh, now I get to go home, clean him, and go to church. He's actually got a little better beard than I thought he did. I thought it was like 8 inches, but it's actually closer to 10. Maybe longer. not bad. Now I get to start uploading videos. I don't have a whole lot, but I'm gonna, I plan on doing a lot more. Uh, a buddy of mine went and hung tree lines, what's the day, Sunday, Friday night. And uh, got quite a few good flatheads. So I'm gonna try and do a couple of those. I'm gonna bring up bucket of crickets down here and walk along this creek. There ought to be shell cracker and titty brim in here. Do a catch, clean, and cook.